In this revision session, we're going to be looking at block modelling and basic workshop tools that you need to know for the exam. Block modelling is used to help designers create the shape, size and surface details of a proposed product. They are very useful in determining ergonomic factors and a good way of testing the product before one gets made. These models are a very good development tool that 2D images and drawings struggle to achieve. There are two materials that are used to create block models. The first is MDF and the second is styrofoam. MDF is used as a modelling material because it can be cut and shaped easily as it has no grain. It has an excellent finish when sanded and can be spray painted to achieve a high quality finish. Styrofoam, which is essentially expanded polystyrene, is used because it too can be cut and shaped easily, but models can be produced much quicker to help refine ideas. When creating these block models, basic workshop tools are used, and you need to be aware of a range of basic workshop tools. The first you need to be aware of is a band saw, which is a heavy duty electric saw for cutting most sheet materials. The second is a vibro or Hegner saw, which is bench mounted electric saw for cutting thin sheets of materials. The third piece of equipment you need to know is a hot wire cutter, which is basically a wire that's heated that can cut through styrofoam and expanded polystyrene easily. The fourth piece of equipment is a coping saw, which is a saw used for cutting curves out of sheet materials including thin woods and acrylics. Another piece of equipment is a pillar drill, which is a bench mounted electric drill for drilling holes in most materials. We are now going to look at a range of materials that are used for shaping modelling materials. The first is a surform, which is used for roughly shaping soft materials. The second is a rasp, which is used again for shaping soft materials. And the third is a file, which is used to create a smooth finish on acrylics and MDF. We are now going to look at types of finishing materials that are used. The first is glass paper, which is used for making a smooth surface finish on either wood or polystyrene, essentially styrofoam. We then got wet dry paper, which is used for making a smooth surface finish on acrylic and MDF. A sanding sealer, which is used for sealing porous surfaces of MDF prior to painting and spray paint, which is used to apply a professional looking finish to an MDF block model once sealed. All the tools mentioned in this podcast you have used within the last four years. Think back to when you were making your garden tool and the tools that you used to create that product. In the exam, you just need to be aware of what each piece of equipment does and what it looks like. That concludes this section of the revision. If you have any questions, please come and speak to me.